part three. Sorry, so boring. But it's such a beautiful day, I just had to share. We're still touring the garden. Some more gnomes. And down here is some painted rocks, some river rocks, me and the girls with. And Benji and Shelby. Just gonna place them all over the place. You'll notice those all throughout the yard as well. And no. And a mini fairy garden I made in a bucket. It's really cute. and painted rocks. And close up of our Tin Man. Very Tin Man. My oldest brought it home in a truck one night with her friends. And here is the big fairy garden. A lot of work to do here. Gotta keep it leaves out of it and Squirrels knock everything over, but it's worth it. That's worth it. Go up, you'll see. If you look up here, there's houses up there. And in here, some houses on the ledge. Ladders I made. I made all the houses out of clay. My Mother's Day spot. relaxing to come out here and work in the garden. Let's see if I can get you a good look from back here before we go in close. And we will follow it around. All the things I handmade with clay or sticks or glue, I mean with glue uh, and liquid nails. Spotlight on the chickadee there. <laughs> Keep going around. hidden all over the place. And here we have many houses. And these are made from clay. Make a little pond with a river rock. By the end of next month, those vines are going to be all the way around the tree. It just makes it look amazing. Don't try not to get too bored. <laughs> it's very relaxing if you listen to the waterfall and the birds. Uh 
Uh, looks like we had a crash and burn. <laughs> looks like I will be working on a house today. As I said, these are all handmade, so they're from season to season as it gets colder, rainy, things tend to uh, come apart, but they're easy enough to fix. And this is my little fairy garden. I'm so proud of it. Kind of got it spread all over the yard. I'll post that in the next video.